Sons and Daughters of God for July 7. The reading is entitled, To Keep the Sabbath. The scripture reading is taken from Exodus 20, verse 20. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God is come to prove you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. It requires moral courage to take a position to keep the commandments of the Lord. An opposer of the truth once said that it was only weak-minded people who would turn away from the churches to keep the seventh day as the Sabbath. But a minister who had embraced the truth replied, If you think it takes weak-minded persons, just try it. It takes moral courage, firmness, decision, perseverance, and very much prayer to step out on the unpopular side. Standing under the broad shield of omnipotence, we do not feel that we are in the minority. God is a majority. We are to consider that Christ has set us to be a light amid the moral darkness of the world. We are not to misinterpret the character of God. We are not to be fretful, to speak out what we think, to blame and criticize and censure others. We are to let the Holy Spirit fashion the character after the similitude of Christ. Now let us see what Jesus will do for us if we let him. In his prayer for his disciples, he said, And now I come to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Is it possible to have joy in obeying Christ? It is the only real joy that any soul can have. Will the Savior ever turn away to leave you to struggle alone? No, never. Poverty is coming upon this world, and there will be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. There will be wars and rumors of wars, and the faces of men will gather paleness. You may have to suffer distress. You may go hungry sometimes, but God will not forsake you in your suffering. He will test your faith. We are here to manifest Christ to the world, to represent him and his power to mankind. Thank you for listening.